If you are somebody that just farms stuff for pleasure and doesn't care about any game modes, doesn't care about mods, doesn't care about Grand Arena, please let me know in comments. I'd love to hear about it. Greetings and hello there, everyone. It's me, Nooch Too Good, your Star Wars dad, here with another episode of the Roster Mania. Today, we're going to be looking at a bunch of rosters that are fun, unique, interesting, creative. If you come across one of those types of rosters in your travails, please go to my Discord to the Roster Mania room, enter the ally code, and I will, of course, cover that roster at some point on a future Roster, roster Mania, Mania video. But let's take a look at our first roster. Of course, we go top left for this to uh, block out the names of the innocent. Looks, it looks normal enough on the outside, but when we get inside here, uh, Vader, Sith Trooper, Vassal, Sean, Fallen, and one lonely old chopper. <laughs> old chopper is all alone here. Relic 4 chopper. Look at this guy. Look at this bad boy. He's actually, this is actually, I looked it up. This is the fastest chopper in the game at 334 speed. This is the most speed on a chopper. I have no idea how this player used it. Now, I did notice when we logged in that uh, this person is no longer in a guild. So perhaps on their way out, they just modded up their chopper to be super awesome. Uh, yeah, it looks like maybe they pulled mods off of other characters, threw them all on chopper, made him super awesome, and took their leave of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. But all that said, maybe they even relic chopper at the very end because they just love chopper. I don't know. But this is the fastest chopper in the game, and it's right here, and it's right in the middle of this of this uh, roster. Relic for a chopper. You don't get to see that every day. Uh, yeah. So anyway, hey, let's look. Let's. let's <coughs> hey, let's take a look at the next account. All right, here we're taking a look, and it's already unique on the front page. We've got a old Ben lead with CLS. Yoda, Vader. I mean, just a really weird team construction and a really weird malevolence team construction and they're in carbonite three and they've got a seven star malevolence let's take a look at this thing let's take a look at see so six million no galactic legend i want to look at these ships because that was a malevolence with zero so seven star malevolence seven star negotiator i want to see this um where are these separatist ships that's uh, i mean they're not really farmed full bore, but I don't know why you'd be putting those other ships with your separatist ships at this point. You've got a couple of separatist ships you could use. You need to farm up a little more. And of course we got Anakin. Um, I mean, this is, it's its okay so far. It's okay, it's, it's a little weird, but yeah, I mean, we're at six million with no galactic legend. That's clearly a, an odd thing. And, and we've got Biston um, is uh, Biston. <laughs> <laughs> what is Biston going with here? I don't see. Well, this is a, yeah, this is a weird roster. We've we've got relic Ewoks for one thing. So we got our relic Ewoks. We see a lot of that in these rosters. We we definitely see a lot of relic people that just they're just done. They're like I'm sick of this three PO event, and my mods don't make any sense, and I don't know what to do, and I have no speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and relic my Ewoks so they can beat the three PO event with no speed on any of my mods. And you know, we see this a lot. This is not that uncommon. <clears throat> you know, you, just somebody who hasn't worked on their mods at all. At six million, by the way, getting to six million galactic power, I wanna see something. Let's back out of here and let's do some math. How long has this person been playing the game is my question. Um, so we've got Galactic War Battles one is 3,000. This person has only won 3,000 Galactic War. This person is just Galactic Power. Well, this is odd. They, they don't play Galactic War. I don't know how to calculate this, but this person is not, I, I think this is less, this is less than a year of Galactic War, but there's no way this person has been playing for less than a year. And um, I don't know what to make of this. This is strange. There's no way they've been playing for less than a year, but they don't play Galactic War, and their mods are just all over the place. Just no mod work at all. So somebody just really isn't invested in... This is just a straight-up farming account. They've probably been playing free-to-play since the very beginning of the game. We're close to it. They've got Mando Relic. They've got a Chief Chirp. they got their, they got a Relic Biston for whatever reason, and a Darth Revan at gear 11. This is a person that's just coming in, farming what they want to farm, and then moving on with their life. I, uh, 
Yeah, I guess I applaud you for doing the things you want to do. You've got a Night Sister initiated Gear 12. A lot of Gear 12 action down here on this roster, but I don't think this person really cares about much except farming up characters and hanging on to them and, and having a good old time. They're not really going to focus on Galactic Legends. They're just going to do whatever they want with their roster. If you take it all the way down to the bottom of the roster, the very bottom characters are the new ones, but everybody else is at level 85. So, hey, congrats to this, this roster. It, this is a classic been playing the game since very early on uh not gonna do anything other than just farm characters roster kind of roster so congratulations to this one hey, let's move on to the next one and see what we got going on okay here we are again with once again a really weird starting lineup and weird ships in carbonite too i mean we have the same thing here we have do we have the same thing like just somebody that's six again six million i mean we this is two in a row Six million, no Galactic Legends. Um, neither the Negotiator nor the Malevolence. A four-star finalizer, a five-star Radis. Just not really making a lot of effort to do things that are that are important in the game. Just somebody that's cruising along at their own altitude. Now let me take, let me do something here. I want, I want to see about this person playing Galactic War. Now, this person actually has some Galactic War Battles one, but really not that many, I don't think. Divided by 360. Well, maybe so. This is person who's been playing for about five years. Okay. And is just doing whatever they want to do with their roster. Now, they're actually... It's a little better mod work here. Um, still not great. I mean, there's, there's like, no speed on this. At all. There's, like, literally... Literally <laughs> no speed. <laughs> so, no interest in mods. In Carbonite for Grand Arena... Has the teams kind of farmed up a little bit better? Let me look at this Old Republic team here just to kind of get a measure. Uh, Old Republic. Yeah, but, but I mean, Juhani Relic with the Zeta, but no uh, no Datacron. Excuse me, no Omicron. Um, let's, I'm going to see the Sith Empire. Does, do they have Malak? No Malak in here. For I mean, could probably get Malak in a couple of days if they wanted, but haven't bothered with it. Just uh, this is two examples in a row of, of of somebody that's just farming, just coming into the game, playing for five years, just farming, not doing any work, no speed mods at all, not really working on Grand Arena at all, just farming the characters they want to farm, and being happy doing it. I assume they're being happy doing it. And we got a Hera relic. We got uh, again relic Ewoks. If you if you want to get 3PO and you don't have any good mods, you're going to have to relic your Ewoks. And if we let's go ahead and look at, um, do we have 3PO? I'm going to assume we do. Yeah. So, well, a six star 3PO. Wow. A six star 3PO with these kind of Ewoks. Well, low grade is only six stars, too. Just super interesting. You know, there's a whole contingent of people playing this game, and congrats to them. Uh, that have been able to stay out of all of the rigmarole that you and I focus on on a daily basis Just farming whatever they want to farm having fun enjoying their time with their family enjoying their time playing the game and not getting worked up about Any of the game modes and just having a grand old time So congratulations to these first two rosters for doing that. Let's pop it down to the bottom again It's the same thing everybody's level 85 all the way down to the very bottom of this roster um, yeah, congratulations to another roster of just, if you could stay clear of all the stuff that we are engaged in every day and you enjoy the game and you're having fun, congratulations to you. Let's go pop another roster here. All right, this will be our penultimate. We will look at a couple more, ro this one and one more. So, okay, we got a, a typical Shock T clone team, but uh, Echo is not geared up in a typical. So this is more typical, Negotiator of the regular fleet, but still in Carbonite 3, like not making an effort to to you know work on grand arena at all we got hondo ha yeah there's some weird stuff okay so hondo is relic seven we don't know why this person just i think so looking at this roster at the top of this roster all of the relics are clones and phoenix and hondo and uh i'm just gonna say I think that this player at 4.2 million is just a huge fan of Clone Wars and Rebels. They're just a huge fan of the animated series, and that's what they, they managed to do. Now, CLS is the only exception in here, but General Kenobi, Shakti, Rex, Hondo, uh, Ezra, all the Phoenix, all the Phoenix, all six of them, Ahsoka, Fives, this person is just farming the characters that they want to farm from the animated series and it's clones and it's and once again but we are on a roll right now these are just 
there are people out here that that I'm I'm just I'm happy. I'm really I'm happy to see this. People out there playing the game free to play, certainly not spending any money at all, and just farming the exact things they want to farm, regardless of whether it help them, will help them in Crate Dragon or Grand Arena or any other game modes. They just want to have fun. They just want to farm the stuff. I'm surprised Thrawn is not relic. They just want to farm the things they want to farm and enjoy life. And the, these are true Star Wars fans playing the game on a recreational basis to have fun and get the characters up they want. And we have a, re by the way, Relic 9 General Kenobi. That would indicate to me that this person may have spent a little bit of money on this. I mean, I don't know how you get to a Relic 9 General Kenobi. I mean, I guess you could save up the gear, enough of the gear for it. Accuracy. <laughs> You don't get an accuracy arrow with 13 speed every day. Um, hey, man, more power to you. I, this is a, this has been kind of interesting, and, a, and this is a different, for sure, this is the most different uh, roster mania re, uh, video we've had so far that just looking at these rosters where people are just farming exactly what they want to farm and nothing else and just having fun. So congratulations to three in a row. Let's take a look at one more roster here to see what we can pull. Maybe we'll find something really creative and unique with that one. All right, Inferno, okay, so we've got, uh, again, another unique <laughs> squad arena team. This team makes no sense with gas. It doesn't work with gas. We got a really funky, I think this is gonna be the same. I don't, and I, I, this, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not on purpose. I have not done this on purpose. I just pulled up the top four rosters that were in my roster mania room in my Discord. Please go enter some rosters in there if you find them interesting or fun and you know you want me to take a look at them. I literally just pulled up, I think four of the top five. I skipped one uh, and there was, there was just no reason for it. I, I, I just kind of wanted somebody to put in two, so I went to somebody else's. I'll do the other one later. But again, level 85 down to the bottom of the roster. Seven million, and we just unlocked Ray. This this person just unlocked Ray. I'm assuming, I, I'm assuming she hasn't been sitting here for a while. So just unlocked Ray, and we got a, uh, a, again, the mods make no sense here at all. She has 47 speed. And I was told to take a look at the speed on this. Let's sort these characters by speed and see what we got. I think this could be the same as, I think this is what we, so BB-8 here, what is bb eight speed? BB-8 has an extra 70, I mean, that's that's not hard. 261, that's a pretty slow BB-8. And I mean, just not really very much invested. I mean, with a speed set at 59, that's these are really slow characters for sure. Uh, they have speed, no speed, speed mod with no, yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm really surprised here. This is four rosters in a row where I'm just going to say that every single one of these people invested in the characters they want to invest in. They want to invest, wanted to invest in. They, I mean, like here, look at this. This is gas. Do they even have 501st? No. So Arc Trooper is not even on this roster. Not even on this roster. So here's General Skywalker, Ahsoka, Fives is gear 11 with no Zeta. Rex is gear seven with no Zeta. Echo is like gear three. And seven star Echo and no Arc Trooper on this. So this has just been an entire roster mania video where, and Jenna Knight Luke Skywalker's in here. Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker's in here. And that's actually the right kind of mindset, sort of, except he's one of the faster, he's got more secondary speed, than 83 extra speed than anybody else, and he really maybe shouldn't have that. But this is somebody that just invested in the stuff they wanted to invest in. I have to say, you know, if you're able to do this, and you may not be watching this video, probably if you're somebody who just farms stuff for pleasure, if you are somebody that just farms stuff for pleasure and doesn't care about any game modes, doesn't care about mods, doesn't care about Grand Arena, uh, I think this one is a Carbonite also, right? A yeah, Carbonite 3, 7 million Carbonite 3. If you just do what you want to do, let's look at these ships too. Please let me know in comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear that you are you're just playing the game you've been playing for however many years. You just farm the things you want to farm and you don't care about what anybody else thinks. I want to hear from you in comments right now, please. Um, I mean, this is tremendous. We have a Malevolent 7 stars, a Negotiator 7 stars. Let's look at these Separatist ship here, ships here. Uh, well, they have all the ships up. They got gear 12 geos, so I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I really don't know why. And you've got these ships up. I, you know, I don't know why Fleet Arena for this person consists of 
the Slave One and the Millennium Falcon with the Ray's Millennium Falcon, no less, with with the Negotiator. Hey man, it's crazy stuff. It, these are definitely these are definitely roster mania worthy worthy rosters today. We just seen a bunch of these rosters. Hey, congratulations to all these rosters today. We saw people just. I'm gonna do what I want to do, and I don't care about the rest of you. I'm gonna have fun. I'm not gonna pay any money. Maybe we can't really tell. I saw a relic nine in there for God's sake. Um, and the rest of you can go to heck, and I'll farm what I want to farm. I'm gonna have a gear nine ray, and you can't stop me. There you go. That is our episode of Roster Mania today. Please, if you see fun, some fun rosters, go to my Discord, go to the Roster Mania room, enter ally codes so I can have more of these. We can keep doing these on a weekly basis. Have a great day. I'll talk to all of you soon. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good. <laughs>